So the no estimates hashtag is about the things in our industry that we just do without questioning. And I'm encouraging us to pay attention to those things. Watch for the things that you do because that's the way we do things. Those are where we need to question the most. So the things I believe the most in, the ones I'm most reluctant to question, those are the things I should most be questioning. That's what no estimates is. Thank you. Dear an Agile coach as well. So the most important thing for me is to learn new thing and then use it in a creative way because that, that is what I feel that if you want to be in future and always in demand, learn new things. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm from Shell. I'm a business analyst and uh, a part-time Agile coach. So for me, the important thing is the collaboration and how Agile you are with the team. So this is what uh, I always uh, focus and uh, this is the culture you develop when, when, you, when you are Agile. So the people you value most and you achieve something good. So keep in this mind and learn something new as Simpy said. So yeah, that's what. I work for Cube Cinema. I am the development manager there. Um, we started practicing Agile for the past uh, three years. But I'm not against Agile, but uh, when, it's, when we say Agile, it is more about like faster, doing everything faster. So what I feel is somewhere along the line, we uh, forgot to go depth in technology. It was always about deliverables and deliverables and deliverables. So I feel that is missing now. So uh, I just came here to find out how do we match uh, Agile releases as well as like going in depth in technology. So. If any of you can answer that question, I will be very happy. There is a one takeaway I came here for. Somebody will have an answer. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Bharat. I'm again from Shell, an Agile coach. Uh, the key learning for us uh, is basically uh, Agile should be run by your business, not IT driven. Yeah. Agile to be successful, it's always better to be run from business, include business into it. If it is just purely driven from IT, it won't succeed. So that's the key learning, yeah? Thanks. Hi, I'm uh, Vimal from Sabre. Uh, one of the, I mean, our journey in the last uh, several years, uh, we, we have done the process, we came back, coming back to engineering, process engineering. So the, the, the thing that I think organizations need to do better is tie the process and the engineering practices together um, otherwise, I mean, agile will will be a jargon rather than a, an execution at uh, at play. That's that's been our experience. All right. So I don't like conferences very much. They're very boring, and they just give you repetitive information. And then last year, I was forced to come to Agile India, and I was not very much keen. And but then when I came, I really found it, you know, mind blasting. And I have never seen any conference as awesome as Agile India. So that's why I'm here this year again. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not just the good speaker you get to see, the ideas which come flooding from all around the world. And, you know, that really changed my perspective. And so that's where uh, uh, what I realized with Agile, you really need to have courage more than anything else. Because otherwise, you'll surrender to the system. And uh, in order to obviously have courage, you have to have some ideas. And that's what Agile India gave to me. And so I'll be there always. Thank you. I'll try to keep it crisp, uh, as probably many of you have mentioned as well. Over the time, uh, we have been here uh, for three to four years with different individuals. And what we have learned is that there will be a number of ideas coming in. And uh, they are really good ideas. But always think before applying them, them to your needs or your processes, because it's really critical. At many times, what happens is that we simply copy paste stuff and it doesn't work out. So we need to think first, analyze it, and then only we need to apply. That's what we have learned, and that's why we have been able to apply it really well, and that's why we are coming over here again and again and again. Thanks. Yeah, I'm Hemant, and uh, we coming from uh, Chandigarh, and uh, we are working for a Norway-based company, Catalyst One. Yeah. Hi, everybody. This is Pushpa here. I'm working for ANZ. What I just wanted to share today is that uh, when I went through the agenda, there are a lot of interesting topics. To be frank, that's where we get confused because I they are so tempting and so interesting that we really don't know where to go, which you know uh, session to attend. 
So is there a way you can you know really guide us to help us or maybe you can have more series rather than having it parallel? So that will help us because I'm interested in multiple topics but they are happening parallelly. So this is something we are, you're really putting us in a fix. <laughs> Chances are good. That, that's a problem. So we want to know everything. It's it's a good way to learn and you know uh, acquire knowledge. Okay, excellent. Okay, great. Yes. No, probably you can split it rather than having it. You know, once for all, everything and anything here. So it will give us also an opportunity. Yes. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Krishna. I used to work as an Agile coach in Sabre Travel Technologies. So my uh, Agile transformation journey, uh, as far as my experience is concerned, uh, it's all about pragmatic thinking. We need to understand the context first. What is that we are trying to change the whole organization? I mean, we, everyone, we try to always try to teach about the Scrum, uh, Agile values or Scrum values, everything. But at the end of the day, all these frameworks, Scrum, XP, these are all nothing but basic project man management frameworks. It's, it's where, in, 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 for example, if you take Scrum, we're trying to teach the, all these Scrum team members how to do the project management themselves. We call that as cross-collaboration or self-organization, but it's fundamentally a project management framework. So if you heard of this hollow effect in PMP, it's, we are, tend to assume that those who are techies, they are also good at managing their work as well. It is not so. It requires a lot of change, bringing a lot of behavioral changes in them. So it really, we need to get to that all different levels of the organization. We need to, as a coaches or scrum masters, understand their pain points, then start coaching them about slowly in an incremental fashion rather than trying to teach the values, principles only in a methodological, I mean, only in a theoretical fashion. That is what is uh, uh, view I wanted to share. Hello, I'm uh, Rohit. I work for ANZ and uh, I basically work in a core banking system where we have to uh, launch a lot of products for the clients and the customers all over the Asia Pacific. The, the problem we are having currently is like, yeah, we follow Agile up to some extent, but all over the all of the release that we cannot do the Agile way. Let's say uh, one of our country wants to launch any product, we cannot give them, okay, opening customer account will give you today, calculating interest will give you tomorrow and reports and the extract the customer communication, we will give you the third iteration. So it's like educating the business users about the agile, how we take it over the waterfall model. It's like something we found challenging because they come from the business perspective. They want, customer can open an account today and close it tomorrow. It's just an example I'm giving. So it's like a kind of a dilemma that team is as of now. And I'm here to gather some points that will help us to break the dilemma and we can educate our end users like we can introduce Agile in their day-to-day -day work so they can have the value delivered as per their preference. Because most of the time we are reactive, not the proactive, when we work on such kind of organization. So that is what I'm here for and looking forward to gather that thing. Thank you. I'm uh, Srini Kadiyam. Uh, I'm one of the founders at a company called Agile Path. Uh, what I'm passionate about is building a high-performing you know, high team the way I look at it is, uh, I have seen organizations where they randomly pick up people, or they randomly pick up people and then say, here you go, here we have a timeline we need to meet. But as the team goes through the, you know, the, the four stages of the transformation, by the time, they don't really get the full benefits of high functioning team. So where I coach the teams is that invest in building a high performing team, then bring the work to the team and then you basically build a backlog of the projects, backlog of the problems that you need to solve. and you get out of the way of the team. So um, by doing this, what we were able to do is that as a team member, you may not be very, you may not have to have the skills, all the skills that is required, but as a team, you need to have all the skills. And then there comes an opportunity of the learning because you can give an opportunity to a team member that may, not, that may not have come from an IT background, but that is where the learning happens and that person would actually see himself or herself grow within this team and then uh, we had a very uh, positive, uh, we have a very good uh, uh, success in doing in couple of engagements in the states. So invest in the teams, invest, make sure they, they perform very well and then they will uh, make the team and uh, uh, you know, your company better. Hi, uh, I'm Tushar working for Cisco as a Scrum Master. 
in our uh, journey of agile what uh, we have experienced is uh, teams uh, definitely love uh, the sprint uh, deliverables what they got get to deliver uh, only benefit uh, uh, is if the leadership team as well uh, runs in agile mode that helps uh, the teams uh, uh, to perform much better the teams definitely love uh, the new way of working because it gives them awesome uh, work life balance it's not the uh, uh, like uh, you have a big uh, target to achieve or something the sprint targets are quite uh, uh, fascinating for the teams the only thing is the leadership if they are also agile in their way of working it uh, kind of helps more to the teams this is uh, our experience in our agile journey thank you